Good evening, my name is Fred from Hillian's Bricks and welcome to the sixth installment of my investment series. So before we get started, I just want to let you guys know I'm not a financial advisor or anything. So the views in this uh, video are all my personal opinions and just, you know, me second guessing of what could be happening to Lego. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I've got a Bricklink store and I also started a journey about 15 months ago in buying Lego and then reselling them once they retire. So I'm fully open and transparent here on this channel about how that goes and yeah it's not always great so it might be a misconception where people read all the positive stories like lego is doing really well there are some duds in there too and uh, all the numbers and the targets of the roi that i mentioned here doesn't necessarily mean that it's full profit right i've got a storage unit where a lot of my lego sets are stored and let me tell you that's not a cheap place to keep open as well so uh just bear those things in mind it's not always as uh, straightforward as People online that you're watching in these sort of videos might make you believe, but yeah. And I've got a backup plan as well, so uh, that's uh, one important thing that you need to bear in mind as well. Um, as always, the question that always comes up is part out values. I just want to quickly uh, go over that. So every Lego set uh, was obviously made up of Lego bricks. Every Lego brick gets traded on a website called Bricklink, and all those trades get recorded. And the system calculates an average value for the last six months for all the sales recorded against every single currency. And then it all adds that up to give you a part out value. So I mentioned part out values in some of the sets that I'm going to be covering. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering three sets that I currently hold in my inventory. I believe they're all retired sets. Let me just have a look. Yeah, these are all retired sets. Two of them, which I think are really good ones. One mm, is a bit hit and miss. So uh, we're going to get going through them and... Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So the first set is 70436, a Hinside Phantom Fire Truck. So this was available for £60 and comes with 760 pieces and uh, five minifigures. And this was only out for a very short period of time from June 2020 to December 2020. So only six months, so very short. And that's kind of why I bought it as well. I've got six of these and my average buying price is just under £48. So essentially I got 20% off, right? Current part out value for this set is just over £81. And on eBay, these are going at the moment for about £65. Now, recently, if we look at the sold listings, um, they were selling between £60 and £65 on average. Then we got Amazon, uh, where it shows that these are currently available for £80. And also Bricklink, those are now available from as low as £59. So. Uh, please bear in mind that I also need to add shipping cost on top of that and any fees that those stores uh, calculate. So what's my plan for this one in particular? So for me, it's going to be a whole strategy for these ones because you can see the part out value is £81. Um, currently, the eBay pricing is lower than that. Um, as you all have seen, I've already listed these on Bricklink uh, because I do think that these are going to be slow movers potentially. Um, I think the hidden side theme might have been a... a a mistake for going after these uh, but I've listed them for 90 pounds that clearly isn't my usual 100% ROI target but bear in mind I've got six so I'm going to see what happens to them potentially when I sell one on Bricklink for 90 pounds I might then start listing them on other sites for a higher price and also clearly up my pricing on Bricklink just to so I get that 100% ROI that I'll always look for it might be another year or two before I get to, to that sort of level for these sets Hopefully there's not that many around in the UK because as I said, it was a very short period of time that these sets were out for and maybe that will drive up some of the value. But who knows, right? That's the, the speculation of uh, investing in Lego. Now, next we have an architecture set, the 21045, which is a Trafalgar Square. This was available for £80 and comes with 1,197 pieces. This was available for two and a half years between June 2019 and December 2021. And I've got three of these and my average buying price was, was very competitive at £48. Uh, and, and I was surprised by the part out value being £104 currently because um, typically architecture says part out value is not that great. Now on eBay, these are currently going for around anywhere between £63 and £80. So there's one that's currently listed that was quite competitive, I thought. Uh, and when we look at some of the sold pricing, you're looking around the £80 mark more recently. Amazon also has it listed, and as always, Amazon's higher at £94. When we look at Bricklink, uh, you will see that uh, it starts from £70, and uh, 
what's my plan for these ones? So as you can see, again, it's kind of like a hold strategy, but I kind of started listing some sets on Brickling just kind of to test test the waters. And uh, because my buying price was fairly low at £48, I've listed it for pretty much £100 on Bricklink if it sells great. If not, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. I do believe that uh, the price of this will go up. And uh, given that the part out value is £104 now, I do want to eventually sell it above the part out value. Uh, but part out values tend to decline and uh, investing prices hopefully should continue to increase. So we'll see where this one goes. My target price for this one is, is going to be around the £125-£150 mark. Um, it, it should be achievable given that it's got quite a lot of parts in this set and it's only just retired right so we're only two months down the line from retirement so give it another 12 months and potentially I could be rid of all three already so we'll see and the final set I'm talking about today is 21322 Lego IDs Pirates of Barracuda Bay uh, very popular set I think uh, retail price was £180 here in the UK and it came with 2,545 pieces and eight minifigures. It wasn't around for that long. It was around from April 2020 to December 2021. Now I've got four of these and I managed to buy these at a discount. I believe it was John Lewis and I got these at £153 per unit. Part out value is very high. It's at £371. And currently on eBay, these are going for, well, these are listed for 220, 250 ish in that range. They've recently sold on eBay for 250 to 60 so that's kind of a, the guide price more or less. On Amazon, uh, you can get these now for £290. And then when we look at Bricklink, the lowest currently available in the UK is £270. So what's my plan for Pirates of Barracuda Bay? So first and foremost, you saw that I have four in my storage unit now. Uh, let me tell you, one is definitely going to be keeping in my personal uh, possession, so I'm only going to sell three. I do think this is a beautiful looking set, and I want to keep one for myself. Uh, that's that's definitely the scenario. But in terms of target price, uh, because of that part out value being so high at 371, it doesn't make sense to kind of like sell it uh, anytime soon or part it out. And parting out for a set like this would be very very hard work lots of bags lots of different lots so it take quite a lot of time to long time to do that so ideally you want to sell the whole box in, in the future now i do think that from my perspective the target price for this set that i'm be looking to, to set is around the 425 to 450 pound mark given that amazon is already pushing towards 300 <clears throat> and it's only retired you know what two months ago i can see this uh giving another 12 months that will be achievable on a site like Amazon. eBay might take a bit longer to flush out, but unless uh, Lego comes with a, a very similar set, I can see this one doing very well. So yeah, there you have it, short but sweet. Uh, if you missed any of the previous installments, go and check out the playlist that we've created for these investment uh, videos. And we'll be back again next Monday with another three sets that we've chosen for uh, from our uh, inventory. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that like button and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.